Much about Richmond has changed in the last 50 years. In just two generations, the population has quadrupled. And change will continue into the future. By 2041, less than a generation away, the population will grow an additional 40%, and employment about a third. To meet that growth, many new homes, workplaces, and institutions will need to be built, along with infrastructure, parks, and new services that support citizens. The city has planned to guide this transformation. For the first time in Richmond's history, energy and emissions issues figure prominently in planning policies and actions. Emissions reduction targets are embedded in the official community plan. A community energy and emissions plan steers actions towards achieving them. These plans focus on reducing energy demand through smart land use, transportation, and building practices. Energy use in Richmond comes at significant economic and environmental costs. In 2010, Richmond households and businesses spent about $440 million on energy, or $2,500 per person per year, and emitted about 4.5 tons of greenhouse gases per citizen. This includes electricity, natural gas, and gasoline. Saving energy and reducing costs will ensure a better quality of life. Acting now to reduce these costs is in everyone's best interest. Citizens and businesses save money, neighborhoods become safer and more walkable, and individuals become healthier. Richmond recognizes that energy, emissions, community, and livability go hand in hand. Richmond's emissions baseline is set to 2007 GHG emissions. When implemented, current policies will keep community emissions at or near this 2007 baseline. But there remains a gap. Richmond has more ambitious reduction targets, and local action is needed to achieve them. Considerable progress can be made by implementing four long-term strategies. To realize them, local government, senior governments, utility companies, contractors, businesses, households, and individuals all need to act together. To illustrate how these strategies could be deployed, we built a digital simulation model of Richmond. It illustrates Richmond as it is today, and how it will be in 2041 after policies and building types proposed in the community plan have been implemented. About 90% of the buildings of Richmond in 2041 have already been built. Retrofitting these buildings presents the best opportunity for community-wide action. What if owners had better services and incentives to improve the efficiency of their buildings? A variety of retrofits are possible from energy-efficient lighting and appliances to better insulation. For example, a basic home remodel could typically reduce its energy demand by about a third. Adding high-tech materials, mechanical systems, and new construction practices could reduce emissions and energy demand by as much as 75%. As building owners undertake retrofits, the entire community reaps significant benefits. Businesses save money. Local jobs are created. The community gains more comfortable and adaptable homes and workplaces. Between now and 2041, most new buildings will be larger and located in compact and mixed-use neighborhood centers. This building, for example, built to code, represents a baseline. What if its design and construction standards were better than code? If the building were designed more efficiently through site orientation and the use of more advanced engineering materials and systems, we could reduce energy demand and emissions by as much as 50%. Replacing fossil fuel systems with renewable energy sources can even further reduce energy demand and emissions. Once higher performing buildings are concentrated in mixed use centers, heating and cooling services can be combined and delivered through a district energy system. These systems can greatly reduce emissions and energy demand by sharing heating and cooling and transferring excess heat from building to building. 
A district energy system is already in use in Richmond's West Canby neighborhood, but we need more systems like this. In the city center alone, thousands of housing units have been approved for district energy connections. District energy systems also facilitate other suitable and renewable energy sources, as well as providing energy security for the future. Energy upgrades, better new building practices, district energy, renewables, and smart land use are all required to help meet Richmond's energy and emissions goals. The city and its citizens must continue to push forward these solutions. In doing so, we make Richmond of 2041 a better place to live. Lowering energy spending, creating jobs, providing more housing choices, better transportation options, and closer amenities. A healthier, prosperous, more sustainable Richmond.